Go click the link in my description box now and get some awesome discounts from 15% up to 50% off. They offer you free shipping as well. Hey guys, it's Sam. I haven't been on here in a long time. If you guys saw my Instagram post, I mentioned how I've just been a little bit uninspired lately, tad bit lazy, but also just busy in my personal life as well. And then yesterday I was sitting on the couch and an idea popped up in my head for a main channel video. And I was like, what if we explored the Larry Stylinson Tumblr tag? That felt so 2014 to say. And I don't know, maybe I'm just a little bit out of touch, but I don't think as many people are going on Tumblr anymore as they were like a few years ago and maybe I'm wrong maybe people still go on tumblr but I think it is definitely a lot less it's becoming more like the myspace of facebook I feel like tiktok has kind of replaced tumblr like a lot of the people and ideas that I see on tiktok now it's kind of replaced what I have seen in the past on Tumblr, but I personally haven't been on Tumblr in a while. And of course that means that I haven't visited the Larry tag in a while. So I'm just wondering if this tag is dead. Like how many people are posting in it? How often are people posting in it? So that's what we're gonna do today. Hopefully this will be entertaining. I'm on the Larry tag right now. This feels very nostalgic. Well, the first thing I'm seeing on this tag is a fan fiction and it only has one note. It was posted about 30 minutes ago. Now, I remember being on the Larry tag on Tumblr years ago and I remember the Larry tag was being uploaded like every five seconds. Like you would refresh and there was like all this stuff like pictures, videos, fan fictions, etc. Like it was a very busy tag. And I'm sure if I visited the One Direction tag on Tumblr, I'm sure that's still popping. Maybe I'll check that out after the Larry tag. So that's interesting that the most recent thing on this tag was posted like 30 minutes ago. I'm even gonna refresh again to see if anything comes up. Okay, here's something. One other thing popped up. It's a fan art of Louie and Harry. That's one of my favorite pictures of Louie and Harry, honestly. Like, I remember when this moment happened. I think it was like October 2015 in the fandom. We all lost our shit. Here's another fan fiction that was posted. Oh my god, guys. I used to read fan fictions all the time. Like, I've never really been an avid reader. The most I would ever read is just fan fictions, but they would be like really lengthy fan fictions like on archive of our own And it would take me like a couple months to actually read it Like a lot of people are like oh fan fictions doesn't count as reading but there's actually a lot of good fanfic authors Online, so yes fan fiction is reading if you're doing any kind of reading. It's reading Here's another fan art of Louis and Harry. Honestly guys, I will admit, fan art has gotten very advanced over the years. Like, people can take two separate photos of Harry and Louis, put them together, and it makes it look like one photo. Like a real photo. This post says, Antis need to understand the difference between a Larry proof and a Larry moment. Shaking my head. Like, a lot of antis will look at Larry moments and be like, Oh, Larrys think that this is proof, but they're just looking at each other. And it's like, well, no one said, like, this definitive moment was proof. We're just saying it's a Larry moment. So what I've been noticing so far by scrolling through the Larry tag is one, it is a lot more dead than it used to be, obviously. I think we all could have seen that coming. I'm also seeing a lot of single photos of Harry. I think the people who still post in the Larry tag, they might not believe in Larry anymore, but they're just posting Harry and Louie related content, like them individually. So I'm seeing a lot of photos of Harry. I'm also seeing it's like the same account that's posting a lot of things, which proves even more that this tag is very dead when you are seeing the same person post many things back to back. Again, another fanfic. Well, this is interesting. I'm looking at the tags of this fanfiction and it says trans Louis, trans male Louis Tomlinson, non-binary Harry Styles, gender fluid Harry Styles. That's very interesting. I remember going on this tag years ago and there were only a couple fanfics where people would play with gender, at least in the Larry tag. I remember reading maybe a couple fanfics back then where Harry would cross-dress or Louis would cross-dress. This is like the first time I'm seeing words like non-binary, gender fluid, trans in the tags for the fanfiction. This says, quote, when they said a love like this would never last, never said anyone for a straight relationship. <laughs> a lot of people have noted that both Louis and Harry's lyrics have been very gender neutral. A lot of people say they don't sound very heterosexual and Louis and Harry's lyrics line up a lot of the times in meaning. 
Oh, here's a long post. This person's saying, help, I read two short Larry fanfics not long ago, like within the last two weeks, and I cannot for the life of me remember what they're titled or where to find them again. Oh my gosh, I've had that happen to me before too. Like I'll find a Larry fanfiction and I was so stupid, I didn't bookmark it or whatever. And then for some reason, I can't find it anymore. But what's cool about the tag, well, at least back then was you could like ask somebody what type of fanfiction it was and maybe they would link you something. But now the tag is dead, so I'm sure no one's gonna answer answer this person. Y'all should bookmark your shit. Here's some more gifts of Louie and Harry. It's some older stuff. We love some fetus Larry moments. Brings us back to our roots <laughs> and why we joined the fandom. Oh my god, this is really bringing me back. I feel like I'm being transported into some time capsule. Not to sound old or anything, but back then I went on my computer for Tumblr and not my phone. Nowadays, it's like silly to go on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook on your computer. Most people use their phone. That's why this is bringing back a lot of memories because I'm on my computer, I'm on Tumblr, and I'm looking at 2011 Larry gifts. Like I feel 16 again. <laughs> A more recent gif of Harry and Louie, I would say this is like 2015. And again, going back to the whole Larry moments versus Larry proof thing, this gif right here is not Larry proof. It's just Louie and Harry standing next to each other. But I think what a lot of antis don't understand is that some people just like seeing Louie and Harry together. Louie and Harry weren't spending time with each other as much anymore. They weren't in photos. They couldn't sit next to each other, etc., etc. So it's just nice to see Louie and Harry standing next to each other, sitting next to each other, looking at each other, engaging in conversation with each other because you know what we don't see that anymore and like especially today One Direction aren't a band so we're not seeing the boys hang out publicly anymore like we used to and even back then we barely saw Louie and Harry hang out together from like 2014 and on I mean it's really sad but when you think about it and a lot of people say it's Larry Shippers fault maybe the extreme Larry Shippers whether it was their management or Louie and Harry's decision themselves or if it was the fandom breaking a fourth wall it's just a very sad situation and seeing Louie and Harry in the same room in the same picture standing next to each other it's great it sounds stupid, but it's great. Oh nice, now we're seeing some single Louis pictures. Most of this tag is just pictures of Harry, so it's nice to see some pictures of Louis. All right guys, so I'm not gonna scroll too far down anymore because it's kind of looking like the same stuff. I've been scrolling for a while and this post says it's from 7.30 in the morning. This just proves that people are still posting in the Larry tag. There's a lot of content here. It's not like I only saw five posts that were posted today. So that's not bad. Honestly, I thought the Larry tag would be a lot more dead, but people are still posting in here and it's, you know what? It's, it's a lot of diverse content. Okay, now quickly before I end this video, I just want to compare the Larry tag to the One Direction tag. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I feel like this tag is going to be a lot busier considering people are going to be posting things about Zayn, Liam, Niall, Harry, and Louis. Like even though they're not in a band anymore, people are still posting about them individually because they are still doing things in their careers. There's a lot of Harry pictures, Louis pictures, some new, some old, gifts of One Direction, some people being nostalgic, missing the band. Some people are just posting appreciation posts, aesthetic posts of Harry in his outfits. You know, there's many reasons people are still posting One Direction stuff. I'm not seeing as many pictures of Niall and Zayn on here. When you look through the One Direction tag, or obviously the Larry tag, more people are posting Harry and Louie content, like Harry pictures, Louie pictures, etc. Like looking through this One Direction hashtag, I'm barely seeing anything about Niall or Liam. Like, yeah, there's a couple in here, but it's mostly Harry, 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 or Louie, 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 Louie. I don't see Zayn at all. Niall, eh, a little bit. And then Liam, nowhere to be found. It's like people don't care about Zayn or Liam, which is odd because I remember Zayn was a huge ship in the fandom and obviously all the boys are very attractive. I don't know, it's just strange to me how Louie and Harry are the ones that are just in the One Direction tag. Like One Direction wasn't just Louie and Harry. It's not just on Tumblr that I've noticed this. I've been noticing this on Instagram as well. It's literally all Louie and Harry. And maybe that's because the majority of the One Direction fandom are Larry Shippers, 
or were Larry shippers. And that's what a lot of Larry's were saying to Anti's, like, hey, if it wasn't for us, One Direction wouldn't be as big or the fandom wouldn't be as big. And I completely agree with that. Hate Larry's all you want, but we were the majority of the fandom. We kept the fandom where it was and we kept it strong. I know a lot of us have gone extreme and some people broke the fourth wall and they said mean things to the boys' girlfriends and none of that was ever okay. I never endorsed that. I might have even said some things in the past that I regret now because I'm a lot older. But yeah, Larry's were like the foundation and the backbone of the entire fandom. And I feel like Harry realized that and that's why Harry never really tried bashing anybody and he kept it respectful and he also kept it really ambiguous and that's why I've always liked when Harry talked about Larry because he's like, I don't want to tell anybody what they should believe in. Like he didn't want to ruin it for us. I think Harry said in an interview like, hey, I've believed in stuff before and if someone came out and said this isn't true, it would ruin that illusion for me. It would make me feel sad. And I completely agree with that. Even if Larry wasn't real or isn't real, I think Harry or Louis coming out and saying that it's fake, it's bullshit, I think that does make a lot of fans feel kind of sad because like I said, Larry wasn't just a shit for a lot of people. Larry was like a gateway for people to come out or feel at home in their bodies and be themselves. Even if Larry weren't together, Larry made me believe in love and it made me be more okay with my own queerness. And I think a lot of people have said that before too because there wasn't a lot out there. Like back then, celebrities coming out was like non-existent. Now today in 2021, people are coming out as gay, bisexual, pansexual, non-binary, trans, etc etc and it's great we need that representation but back then zero none of that so it's like having even just the illusion that two people could be happy and be together it really gives people in the lgbt community hope when you're younger and you're gay or in the, in the community you think that you're not gonna find love because there was lack of representation and maybe you didn't have the support that you did at home so having someone to look up to like Louie and Harry it made you believe like oh I could find somebody um, or this exists for me I will one day find happiness so that's what a lot of antis have to realize that Larry wasn't just us being obsessed with two guys possibly being together it was a lot deeper than that for people in the fandom Anyway, I am done with this video. Sorry I went on that whole tangent. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Haven't done a video like this in a long time. Like, you know, like just talking about Larry and the fandom and all that. Like, this is really bringing me back. So if you guys want to add anything on to this conversation, leave that down below. And if you guys want to see other videos from me, leave that down below as well. I'm going to try to post more videos. But again, I don't have a constant schedule so thank you guys for always supporting me and this channel it's very much appreciated and like always i make a video whenever i want so i can subscribe all my social media is down in the description and i will see you guys later bye